Predator like movies, or Contra like a video game. They looked at those things as options. I'm not really sure why. There's probably some kind of socio-economic factors at work here. But around 1984, there was this sudden great male awakening where all of a sudden men wanted to watch buff men blow sh up. Men wanted to be buff men blow up. Men also wanted stuff though in the 1980s. See, that was the thing. They were firmly entrenched in that decade-long love affair with rampant consumerism. They weren't buff, and the only thing they were blowing up were their credit cards. So they acted out these desires in the form of consumer media. Ergo, Rambo, and Predator, and Contra, and all the things similar to those things that were all doing basically the same thing. Taking men to this wondrous, violent, sweaty, bicep, bulging fantasy land where they could finally blow shit up. Heavy Barrel is one of those things. Welcome! to a bicep bulging fantasy lane. the thing. Is there anything original about this stuff? No. Big effing deal. Who cares? You're blowing up tanks with a flamethrower? Who cares? This is the ultimate 1980s male fantasy. I'm parachuting down to who knows where, and I immediately start shooting everyone I see. Also, I'm wearing a bandana, probably, and I have a machete in my armband. I'd pull it out, but now's not the time, freezing. I have too many nameless, faceless grunts to kill, and I'm gonna invite some of my man buddies over to join me this evening. We're gonna play Heavy Barrel, and then watch Commando on my new top-of-the-line Pioneer VHS deck. Maybe smoke some cigarettes. Point is, we're gonna have one hell of a night, and that's due in large part to Heavy Barrel for the Nintendo Entertainment System and Schwarzenegger. Also, Schwarzenegger, the patron saint, blowing shit up. And hey, speaking of Commando, this game's basically a Commando clone. And the game, not the movie, which is fine. Hey, originality's nice and all, but I'm more into fun. It is almost too much fun. And yes, I'm playing with the game genie. Big deal. Seriously, big effing deal. Who cares? If you noticed that and not all the fun things that are happening here, look, I got news for you. You wouldn't last a day in 1980s male fantasy land. The 80s were all about unfair advantages. Besides, the game genie's just leveling the playing field a bit, because video games are hard, and I'm mostly terrible at them. Doesn't stop me from enjoying the hell out of Heavy Barrel. And I'll tell you another thing. Play this with a friend, try a little co-op, that, that's a bonding experience money can't buy. Only this was the 80s, and money bought everything. Also, watching First Blood 2 cost money. And that movie turned friends into comrades. How's it play? Uh, awesome. Next question. You walk around. It's kind of slow, but I like to imagine that's because I'm carrying so many freaking weapons that a 70s man couldn't even move. Fortunately, I'm an 80s man and I'm not a pussy. In fact, one weapon I know I'm carrying around is the heavy barrel itself, because that's the game's main gimmick. See, as you kill people, they drop keys, just like real life. Now you can use those keys to open these lock boxes that are randomly scattered all over the place. Sometimes they have power-ups, like the flamethrower or the spread shot. Sometimes they have explosive devices. Sometimes they have parts of the heavy barrel. And once you collect all the parts, you give them a war they won't believe. Now, unfortunately, the heavy barrel can only last like 90 seconds. Otherwise, every other video game would cease to be. But it's the best 90 seconds of your life, I'll tell you that much. Heavy barrel's so awesome. I, I don't I don't even want to talk about it. There's no time to talk about it. It would devalue the awesomeness. But it plays great. It's tough as 1987. It's not very long, but that's actually understandable, because if it was, every other video game would cease to be. Looks okay for an NES game of its era. Uh, but the flamethrower looks badass. And also, you refuse to even use doors, so you just blow holes in the places you want to go. Which is just... That's so Schwarzenegger of you! Let's kill those blue pussies in the hovering jetpacks! 
Obviously, I had a great time with this game. Is it original? No, it's, it's stealing more ideas than the dumb kid who sits behind you in class. It's short, the bosses are kind of disappointing, uh, but is it fun? Holy crap, is it ever? It plays well, has a couple fun little gimmicks, you don't use doors. Look, I mean, I don't know what the, what else do you need to know? I don't know what to tell you. It's Heavy Barrel for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Hurry and plan your trip now to a bicep bulging fantasy land.